Hello everyone, Wanda here, and I just wanted to show you this rose that we're doing. I'm doing this in fast forward here in the beginning just to get the tracing and the lining and all of that um, to show you it but not bore you with it. <laughs> so we're going to be doing this with some pigment powder, some neon pigment powders, some foil, some glitter, some top coat. It's going to be fun. And then uh, we're going to leave it on the bare Santorini with just the flower sealed. So join me for this fun tutorial and um, prepare to be impressed. It doesn't look so great to begin with and then it turns into something fabulous. Here we go. Hi guys, I'm back with this rose and I'm sorry it's been a few days and I went a different direction with it and uh, so here's what I'm working on. I'm going to use the neon pigments um, and we're going to go still with these colors, sort of, not red, but we're going to stick with this idea but using powder pigments instead. And I've switched to the glue solely since I'm not doing the foils yet. I may foil on top, but um, I have changed my mind because I'm digging these neon colors. <laughs> so let's see where this goes. I did do the center already with the purple just to see if it was going to be bright enough. And though it doesn't look bright on here, it's very vivid. So. Anyways, it'll look a lot better once we get going with it and relining and defining everything. So I'm adding the glue to the next sections. They're going to be the next color. And the next color is yellow. and they're kind of mixed in with uh, the different, the yellow and the orange are sort of mixed together. So see here, and then green goes in there. And then there's a random blue one. So we'll figure this out, right? So I'm going to apply the glue and cure it for one cycle and I'll be back to show you the pigment application. Okay, I'm going to start with just a tad bit of orange kind of in the center parts here. like that and then grab a paper towel and go in with the yellow Oops, and that big one is all yellow. Yay. And so is the little one. So. Let's 
It's quite messy and uh, definitely takes a bit of patience, but it's so good. The color, <laughs> I like it anyways. That's what they use on nails to get that great neon look. Okay. And don't worry about this, we're gonna clean it up. So, but look at that color, vivid, vivid. Nice, I like it. All right, I'm gonna go in with this next color, or the next glue sections here. Actually, I'm gonna take a brush and dust this off real good. Get it off the rock, looks good. Okay, this is just a Dollar Tree cosmetic brush. It's an eyeshadow brush. All right, so the next color is blue and green. So I'm gonna do the blue first. We have a random blue leaf or petal here. And then some big ones. These two out here. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the blue. First, I'm gonna lower my light or my camera down. Okay, close up. I like these pigments. It's kind of like painting with matte chalk. Like a, these have zero mica in it, so they're very matte. I'm sure this would probably be easier with regular paint, but you know me. I got to use up the stuff I got. I have so much nail products from little projects and whatnot. So these are so cool though. There's a bit between these two are green. This one, this one, and this big guy here is green. Okay, I'm gonna cure that for one cycle, 60 seconds. Okay, I have one random 
a purple here. And then I've got some green over here. Oops, that's okay. I'm gonna add a little blue to it. See if I can deepen it up just a tint. Look how gorgeous already, guys. Oh, so good. Okay. And we got, these are pink. They're red, but we're going to do this hot pink color. Or should we do this one? See, I like this color. I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> I think. Or do I like this one? They're so close. I'm doing this one. All right, glue first. Okay, we're cured and I'm going to add the pink. I love the way this looks so much. I'm just going to add some in and do some shading just a bit.
pretty. And I'm going to buff it out with this guy. Nice dusting. Pretty colors. I'm loving it. I need to add a little more here. It's kind of sticky. So I think that needs to be cured a little bit more. Stick that under the light. And then we're going to do a little touch up lining. Actually, I think maybe we should put some gold in there. What do you guys think? Let's do it. Let's add some gold. Okay. I'm going to start in the center and add back in my shapes to my rose. Let me turn this off and see if that helps. Any? Probably not. Okay. Having some lighting issues here. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm going to change brushes too. So I'm going to go around and redo the lines, and I'm going to do them in gold. All right, look at that. Doesn't that look good, you guys? Okay, for the leaves, I'm going to use Chromatech brush pens in a couple of different colors. Persian green a bit. Which is kind of a blue color. Just giving it some eh, you know. Nothing special. Let's start with that side. Emerald.
grass green. It's pretty close to emerald. We'll skip the grass green. Go into neon yellow or fluorescent yellow, actually. That's the name of it. Let's get some pizzazz in here. I think I'll add some of that first on these. And to get that color off the tip of your pen, you just brush it on a paper towel or a towel. Just and it comes right back. You know, I think I'm going to change Persian green, which was the first blue color. I need a darker the color I'm looking for. isn't jumping out. I think it's called the... No, that's blue. Bottle green. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. But look, just so you guys don't think I'm crazy. Yeah, similar. <laughs> okay, right. My eyes might be off tonight. There we go. On to the other leaves. I'm gonna do that side and I'll check back in with you in a moment. All right I am done with that and I'm gonna do some foiling of course. <laughs> and I'm gonna be using transparent these guys. I'm not gonna do all of it. I'm gonna do the big sides with the foil or the side with the bigger spaces I guess would be a better way to describe it that one and maybe just a few in here
I'm trying to stay off the black line so we have that definition and 3D look. Okay, I'm gonna cure those leaves. Now I think I'm gonna add like a few in here though. Cure that for a cycle. Okay, and I'm going to clip off some pieces of foil. I have added some dryer sheets in my box here to help with static. But I'm going to be getting a, some large crushed glass, this one here. isn't quite cured enough this time. Let me hit it one more time here. This is, oh, you can see the, <laughs> I need to clean off my stone, the powder. See the neon powder glowing? I don't know if you can see it in the video, but <laughs> anyways, uh, we'll hit that again with the foil. Much better. I'm not going to be foiling the actual rows because I'm going to be using a top coat on that. I might add some holographic 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 glitter <laughs> holographic <laughs> lord I'm just going to cut off another section for the other side real quick and we are almost finished this is turning out so pretty I'm just going to add the glue to the bigger sections and a few of the sections on the other leaves and cure it and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to do these foils here. Got some holographic glitter here. Isn't that gorgeous? And I don't know if it's going to stick, but <laughs> just want to add a little bit to our ruse here. That'll probably move around when I'm adding top coat, which is okay with me. the top coat with a liner brush from the dish.
And I'm going to do the rose and the leaves with top coat because I love this look. And um, actually, I'm going to go give it a spray with Rust Oleum 2X first, and then I will be back to do the top coat on top of that. That way, the black will also be set. Okay, that is dry. I sprayed it with Rust-Oleum 2X three times, so it is covered three times. I'm going to cover our rose with top coat. I'm going to do it in some sections. And it's okay if they run together a little bit. I just want to make sure it's sealed nice. going right to the edge of the gold and trying to stay off of the white as much as I can or well, off the rock you know because I want it sealed but not um, I, I like the matte of the Santorini so Okay, I think that's the rose. Let's seal that. I'm loving this so much. Okay, I'm gonna use, do two cycles for the top coat, make sure it's nice and sealed. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, you guys. <laughs> Look at that gorgeousness. Mm. All right, I'm going to do the leaves as well, but not the black or the rock. I should say not the infinity or the rock because I will be doing the black in the leaves if that makes sense.
you know, guys, I get so inspired. I don't have fingernail, well, I have nails, but I don't wear uh, nail polish or false nails because I have a severe allergy. I used to, for 15 years, I wore acrylic nails and just beautiful. Anyways, um, I am so inspired by a lot of nail designs and nail products and all of that. So I watch a lot of YouTube nail designing and that's where I come up with a lot of ideas. So if you guys are wondering why the nail products, it started off by watching Rachel's Rock, Rachel Rocks Canada. And um, she used some foil and my brain exploded. <laughs> I thought, oh my God, that's the genius. You know, it's just a great great idea so I ran with that and I loved it and I can't you know I dream about foil so I was already into using nail products on rocks but I hadn't ever seen nail foil before that so <laughs> thank you Rachel and that was gosh nine months ago six nine months ago I don't know Okay, I'm going to cure this side and then I'll do the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, it's all done. Look at this gorgeousness. All sealed with top coat, glossy, glittery, neon goodness. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me and doing this neat tutorial. Um, if you finished it and you um, would like to show it off, come on over to Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques on Facebook and post it and show me, show me your work. I, it doesn't have to be this, anything you do. I want to see it. We accept all art forms, including photography. So come post some pretties with us, okay? We love you. We want you. Come visit. Uh, also, subscribe. I need you to subscribe to this YouTube channel <laughs> if you liked what you saw here today and give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you again real soon with a new tutorial. Wand out.